Hello and welcome to a theme park family with me and my family go around theme parks, checking all the biggest coasters, dark rides, flat rides and shows and today we are here at Thor Park getting finally the last time we went to a theme park with rides that was was Blackpool. Don't forget to check out our video when we went to Alton Tower, just check out the gardens, but obviously the rides weren't open. But today, oh yes. I can't wait. I, I seriously we can't. are here at Thorpe Park. Now the procedure of it all, um, it's not very busy and we've also got told by one of the management team that fast track is not on at all today uh he says you're looking more than about 20 minutes uh, per ride so it's not going to be busy at all which is amazing which is a bonus when you first come in they slightly they slightly do batching sections it's like you know, usually they put you just outside the front gate after you're doing through security but what they've done is they will take say 100 or 150 people per section so everyone is spaced out to be fair it's done really well um, overall, there is literally hand sanitizers everywhere, and also there are yellow, yellow dots all around the entrance where you yeah. need to be when, you, when you're queuing up. It's kind of hard, uh, kind of easy to see, actually. Yeah, really easy to see. Um, like I say, ride closes 10 till 5 o'clock. I don't think, like the guy says, the management, I don't think it's going to be busy at all. I am super pumped. Yeah. It's windy ish. Uh, but it's not very cold, so it's fairly warm. So I've got my shorts on. I've also got my brand new t-shirt, obviously. I bought my Shambhala shirt. I bought a Shambhala. I don't know why I bought a Shambhala. Anyway, what are you looking forward to? Uh, probably stealth or uh, so. I mean, I prefer so more because Red Force is way better. Oh, yeah. Stealth. Well, we just literally, as we saw, like, stealth, we were like, that's so tiny compared to when we just did the uh, Red Force. To be fair, now that what they're doing is now, as you can see, you see over here, there are actually these queues. There's different, usually they have one big queue right near the actual entrance. Um, but now they've separated the queues. So there's a few dotted about. So this is it, guys. Welcome to our 2020 Thought Park vlog. Here we go. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. We're going to go straight towards Saw and Colossus as we always do. Also, do a samurai, which is really good as well. There's actually announcements going around as well, telling you to obviously wash your hands and sanitize and all that. But really exciting the fact of when the manager just said to us, because I literally asked if there was any fast tracks, and he says there wasn't because there is like 20 minute queues which is a bonus. I think the capacity what's in this park at the moment is about two and a half thousand, I think he said. So, so it's not too bad to be fair. But right now, we're gonna to head towards Saw. As always, like I said before, each ride does have a sanitizer to sort your hands out and stuff, which is pretty cool. Saw so, looking beautiful. Oh yes. Yeah, there are people actually in the ride area. Hmm. Is it even open? Hey, change your plan. We're not going on Saw, it's closed. Yeah. I have no idea. But Lewis has actually just pointed out that every ride you do have to wear a mask apart from the water rides but saying that though i don't think the water rides are actually on at all there's no water in tidal wave which is a shame really so in fact now we're going to go on headache maker 2.0 here we go colossus We've just come off Colossus. I'm, I'm gonna have to say that was running really smooth. Yeah, it, it wasn't rough at all. But we were on the front row. I've never done it on the front row. Have you done it on the front row before? Yeah, first time I went on it. Was that smoother then? Yeah, uh, no, it's, it's a lot rougher than this now. What, what, it's rougher now? No, it's, sm it's smoother now than what it was when I went on it. Right, okay, yeah, but you still get the whole rubber hitting metal when you hit the top, mate. It's like you're running on wood. Right, there is a few things that we need to point out here. First off, how it works in the queue line is that if it, if it holds 28 people, it'll only take 14, or I think it's either 14 or maximum is 16 from what I read. Now, when you're queuing outside the actual station, it will count how many people there is, but only, say, 14 people are allowed in the station itself. Um, so it's not packed in there. And obviously how it's set out is that you you sit on a row, you miss a row, or sometimes you miss two rows and then you sit on a row, depending on how many people are, are in your party. Now, every 10 rides, they actually stop the ride full stop and do a full deep clean. Now this takes 10 minutes. Which is 
per train. So they do have to do that. Deep clean the whole thing. They spray all the seats down, seat belts, the, uh, the handles, everything like that. Then they send it out empty. And then they do it again for the second train. It is running on two trains, that is. So just to give you a heads up, some important information. Also, you, you, there is a sanitizer yeah. that uh, when you're leaving. However, though, because the floor is like marble, a lot of people are squeezing it and then it's dripping on the floor so it's very slippy as well. And so it's just a, yeah, it's a danger hazard, so people could slip on or yeah. fell into the traps. However though, yes, the queues are not that big, however though, that takes a huge amount of time, but it is necessary, let's be honest with it all. Um, so in the meantime, we're going to try and see if Saw's open, we didn't see Saw open, did we? Uh, but overall, I'm very happy with Colossus, it was a good ride, it was our first ride of the day, which sometimes is horrendous, you should never do that. <laughs> But um, we're going to see what's cracking off around Source, if it's open, and then we're probably going to go towards Nemesis Inferno and around that area as well. Yeah. See you guys soon. For the stealth here, like I said, they've got all these uh, hand sanitizers there. You make sure you do wash your hands before you enter into the queue line. Like I said before, you do have these yellow dots planted here all over the queue line, so we are all spaced out. But yeah, it's going good. We've just done stealth. I'm gonna say straight off the bat, it's got nothing on Red Force. <laughs> Considering it's twice the size and twice as quick, it's got nothing at all. However, though, it was a very smooth ride. Yeah. It said what it says it was gonna It said it was gonna be half an hour, it was half an hour. They're cleaning the trains every 10 minutes, just very uh, similar to when we went on to uh, Colossus. So every 10 trains, they are literally cleaning it all down and off it goes. However, though, what we've just noticed is as well, they're over there, the photos. This, yeah, they're taking photos. Colossus, there is no photos, but on, on, on stealth, there is photos, so Don't we'll see. So in the meantime, now we're just gonna head towards Nemesis. We're gonna head towards Nemesis, and then we're gonna grab some dinner. So see you guys soon. Okay, if you are actually wanting to get some food in Burger King here, as you're walking through here, it's like a one way system. Obviously, we've just got the teacups just over here, so this is the only way. Usually, we come out that way, but that's the exit now where Nemesis Inferno is, so you kind of walk through here, get your food, and then obviously go, go out in the corner over there. Okay, we just had our dinner. We've just been on the detonator. Good yeah. got tower. It's a good one. It's got good force as well. Lift your legs up a lot. Just a heads up as well. If you're going to be eating the Burger King, you can't eat inside the actual restaurant. I don't know why. How about if it's raining? Or yeah, if it's raining, there's lots of benches and stuff. But if it rains, but well, there's no shelters, so I don't know. They, they, they've got to allow you to eat indoors. Also, if you need salt and then stuff like that, nothing's actually out in the actual in the restaurant itself. You have to ask it at the counter. So in the meantime, now we are heading towards. Are we, what we're we heading towards? Uh, we're heading to the big fish. But big fish, and also we're going to head towards Swarm as well. So here we go.
done swarm i love that coaster. i love swarm as well it's amazing you know just a whole area like ride it and stuff you know just just, just look at that oh so smooth oh so so smooth uh, the scenery, the theming around the whole area as well is 10 out of 10 to be fair, let's be honest. When we're on that shield platform as well, how quiet is it? There's, there's no one there. Yeah, there's nobody there at all. I think everyone seems to have rushed here first thing in the morning, which we obviously rushed towards uh, Saw and also Colossus. So I think everyone is now heading towards that end and we've obviously come back this way. Wait, Rob, what do you reckon then to uh, Swarm? One Still of enjoy the best it? rides in Thought Park, in my opinion. I'd say Saw's just above it. Yeah, it's between Saw and uh, Swarm, I'd yeah. say, definitely. But speaking of uh, one of the greatest coasters, we actually are now going to head towards Flying Fish. Uh, I, I have to say, I have never ridden it. Too small for you. Too small? You're too small for I'm not too small for it, behave. <laughs> right, so uh, here we go, Flying Fish. Okay, we just come off the flying fish, the four lap special. I feel sick. Yep. And I'll tell you what, mate, they weren't wrong by saying keep your arms and uh, legs inside side the car. I'll tell you, you stick your arm out, it's gone. Yeah. I mean, you are so close to all the uh, more near misses than uh, nemesis. Yeah. It's crazy, man. <laughs> but yeah, feels sick. Fair play to the uh, operator, mate, for giving us a four lap special. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Anyway, we just seen in the distance that. Saw. Saw is open, I so. Uh, it while we were in the queue. So obviously, it's one of my. Uh, Favourite rides. Favourite rides here at Thorpe Park. So now we're heading over towards there uh, to ride the beast game over. Here we go. So. Just done a saw. Um, it did say it was about an hour. Uh, Q it wasn't an hour. It was about what 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Yeah. So yeah, they blatantly lied about the time itself. Um, I'm gonna have to say straight away, all the rides so far have been really smooth. smooth. Yes. The operations have been slow. However, though, we've got to understand. I'm glad that they're just opening. They've got to obviously constantly clean and you know yeah. wipe down the seats and stuff and whatnot. So which is just fair news. Um, however, though, I have come to the conclusion that Saw is no longer in my top ten coasters. I don't know why. It's just something about it. I, I kind of got off it and was like, all right. But you know, it is what it is. Um, before I run though. Ooh. Before on though, we were going to go to uh, Nemesis Inferno because Finally. beforehand, I know we've not been on that yet, <laughs> but because it was about an hour queue time. So um, we're going to try and jump on there now and uh, a few of the little flat rides and then we're going to uh, wrap up for the day. Oh yeah. See you soon. Just come off Nemesis Inferno. Don't know why it's called Nemesis Inferno. There is no Nemesis. But anyway, we actually got onto the front row. We've done oh, that a few yeah. times. We did it in Colossus as well. Because there's no actually front queue, they're just sticking us anywhere. And we've been lucky enough to go on Colossus front row and also a Nemesis Inferno front yeah. row as well. I will say the actual queue line itself, where you've got designated spots everywhere, is so bad. And the spots are pretty much dotted all the way. They're not 
two meters. The literally is like you've got one area and then you've got about, I don't know, about 10 feet and then there's another drop there and it's just scattered all over the place. It's really bad uh, in that queue line. Everyone is all bashed up together as well. Not everyone's wearing masks. That is the only queue line I could think of that is absolutely, it's not right to be fair, especially in that queue. Um, but in the meantime now, we are just going to head towards Black Mirror. We're going to find it, we're going to have a look around it and stuff. And then we're going to head to the merch store where we're going to have a look around, see what t-shirts we can get. So I'll see you guys over there. Okay, we were going to go and find this Black Mirror new for 2020 should be, but now it's going to open next year. However though, it's near the Walking Dead underground or something like that, so we're not going to have a chance to actually have a look at it all. So in the meantime, we're going to do this little small flat ride and then we're going to head towards the merch store so we can have a look, see what there is, what's new for 2020 um, and then we're going to wrap up our day here at Thor Park. I've just actually just bumped into uh, another YouTube creator, Theme Park TV. He does uh, follow us uh, and also I do follow him. Here he is. How are we? Roll, have you had a good day? Yeah, well, okay. Happy day. Anyway, make sure you do subscribe to uh, Theme Park TV. So in the meantime, we are now going to head towards into the merch shop and uh, hopefully get another pin badge, I think so. See you guys soon. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look in the merch store, shall we? See what pin badges, t-shirts, although I am wearing a brand new t-shirt. Oh no entrance. Where's the entrance? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, we seem to have been given a basket. We've got resis. They're pretty cool, mate. Tidal wave there. They are six pound. Obviously a retro here from the old school. Here we go, we've got pin badges here. All four pound, obviously discounted with our Merlin passes. Got the banana ride there. Oh yeah. We've got new ones. New saw. Yeah, we've got a new Nemesis. saw one there. We've got, got t-shirts over here. That's quite nice actually. Jumpers hoodies are 14 pound. 17 pound for the t-shirts. Oh yes, we've got one of these. 15 pound. I've got uh, Stealth versus Swarm. That's pretty cool, that jumper there. The hoodie. We've got a Stealth hat here. That's pretty cool. Well, they've got a Swarm one. I prefer that one, actually, to be fair. Okay, that is the end of our day here at Thorpe Park. We have uh, been into the merch store. I have got my pin badges, ones what I haven't got. I think I've got about five or something like that. Um, overall, it's been a good day. Yeah. The rain is hold out, which has been fantastic. Um, I've met some, uh, we met some people, met some supporters, oh, yeah. the Park family supporters. So hello once again to you guys. It's not been busy. However, though, the operations because obviously they've got to clean, clean, stuff like clean the trains quite frequently like every 10 rides to or every hour they have to constantly clean it's not just the coasters as well obviously with zodiac uh, and some of the flat rides they also have to clean them out as well so it's a bit of a i don't want to say a pain because it needs doing however though it does slow the operation yeah. right down i mean you shouldn't really be having an hour queue when there's a 2,000 people here in the park. It shouldn't really be happening. But you know, it's for our safety, I suppose. And, and at the end of the day, they're opening the park for us. So I'm not gonna grumble that much. I've had an incredible day. Um, it's been good. What's been your highlights? No, I thought my highlight would be sore, but it's actually been swarm because I don't know. It, I, I didn't like sore as much as I used to, like what you said earlier. Because since then I've kind of like, I thought it was better. Uh, yeah. I, I, so for some reason I came off it going, oh. Yeah. Is that it? So yeah, I don't know, it's kind of 
gone down in my level, so it has. Honestly, Colossus, believe it or not, has actually been one of my highlights on the front row. I've never done it front row before, and it was really smooth. I don't know if it was because really it was, smooth. I don't know if it was because of it's early in the day, but it was quite smooth. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah. Um, we've done all the rides. We've done probably not two or three flat rides, but we've done all the coasters. Uh, obviously, Darren Brown wasn't open because obviously it's quite groups of people. Also, um, none of the water dead. rides are not open. Walking Dead's not open, which you know, I'm a fussed about to fair. Hi. And also Black Mirror's not open. Um, but overall, it's been good. I loved it. Yeah? It, it, it first uh, good theme park since eight months or however long we've been to Rome. Well, obviously we went to Alton Towers, like I said, uh, yeah. not long ago, but you know, it's just gardens. I ain't no Alan Titchmarsh. <laughs> but um, overall, it's been good. So I'm Danny. And I'm Lewis. And thank you for watching Theme Park Family. Take care, bye bye. Adios.